Netflix made a deal with J-Lo a few years back with her production company. She made two films, uh, Mother and something else, and they actually did pretty well. So then Netflix decided, let's go ahead and make another exclusive deal, and then we end up getting this with her production company. So we got Atlas with her and Sterling K. Brown, and it's basically, as it describes, a bleak-sounding future where an AI soldier has determined that only one way to end the war is to end humanity which is a, it's a plot we, we have heard before, and some people actually believe in it, you know, uh, go Thanos. But um, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get into this review. So our first impressions. I want to start with JS1. What was your first impression when you, when you, when you saw this trailer, sir? Um, I couldn't wait to get in here and bash it. Um, the trailer looked like trash. Uh, I felt like this 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 corporate warmongerer was going to come in and destroy the one of the most beloved genres of my personal life. I love sci-fi and fantasy, and I felt I feel like this person, this this money hungry, beautiful, sexy Latina, was going to destroy my life and my childhood with her with her little production deals. And and, and 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 just that's 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 what's gonna happen. So I, I, just, I, I love I love how the negative still is able to find some way to slide in the beautiful sexiness. You know, she. Just, I have to be cold, honest, but we have still to hot as hell. She's still hot. She's, that's, that's, and she's smart. Not Let's not get it twisted. She's smart <laughs> and she's hot, which is, makes her right. even hotter. So whatever. I got you. I got you. All right. Uh, how about you, Iris? What were your initial impressions? Um, I like anything sci-fi, and I don't really hate on J Lo like the rest of society does. Mm -hmm. um, you know, she is who she is. I wouldn't say she's still from the block because she's not. Pero, pero, uh, I was I was a little excited to see her movie. Um, you know, something. You know, I wouldn't say different with her, but she's not really. I, I she doesn't really do a lot of like sci-fi. It's more like drama. And you know, shit like mother and <laughs> and enough <laughs> and stuff like that, you know. So I was like, okay, it it would be good to see her in in somewhat of a different genre than she than what she usually does, you know, with her rom coms and things like that. Mm -hmm. So um, I was willing to give it a chance. Okay, okay. How about you, Dad Panther? Um, I, I want to say that past JLo, you know, mother, maybe all the way back to like Selena and some made in Manhattan in between, like loving JLo and the music, whether it's I'm real or not. But I feel like as of late, I am Ben Affleck stuck in the car and I'm like, I'm just annoyed by this person. So the first time I saw the trailer, I love sci-fi, but as soon as I saw who was on the fucking screen, I think you guys had me on record for just looking away. So, you know, that take it for what it is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm sorry, Ben Affleck. But uh, for me, I actually, even though J-Lo as a person, I'm not a fan of, um, I did enjoy the last two Netflix originals that she, they, she dropped. I was surprised that they entertained me as much as this. So when I... When I saw this trailer, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give it a shot, even though I could kind of sense Sterling K. Brown was maybe not gonna really feature in the film. I thought it was still worth worth a watch, worth a watch. So highs and lows. I want to just actually just go back and reverse the Dad Panther. Why don't you tell me how you felt about this movie? Okay, so I'll go into basically what my my lows were. My lows were the movie was too long, too long of a movie. I thought they could have wrapped it up a little sooner. Um, the pacing was an issue. There was times where it was picking up and it was like, hey, she's the smartest ever. And then let's go into the action. And then in the two spots that I'll say 
or the the things that I liked was it. I love the fact that it had that futuristic look where advertising was everywhere and we're flying ships. Um, apparently, we can't get out of our head that at some point in the future we'll be flying ships, and I think it's going to be the same we got now. the The other bonus was the fact that the story was so real. It was so real and was so gripping, and I mean that honestly. Like you had Sterling K. Brown who was, he seemed just annoyed at J-Lo, that J-Lo was thrown into the mix. She's the smartest in the room. She's real. She's from the Bronx. She's from the streets. And you were just forced this. And no one seemed to like J-Lo. It doesn't make any sense. No one seemed to like her, but she's the one person for this job. But you can see that from Sterling K. So the realness of that, I really appreciate how real that felt. Now, watching this movie, no spoilers for the most part, there's a scene, and this is what I mean by how real it is. There's a scene where she hits her head on, on a dashboard or something as she's responsible for lives that could be lost, but she asked to be here. She still can't make choices for people who could possibly lose her, their lives. And I was like, that's real, because I feel like that could happen. And when she hits her head, I don't know, my hand must have slipped on the remote, and I went all the way to the credits, and that's exactly what I saw. Oh, my goodness. And so I thought it, I thought it was genius for um, the editing on that. So you you're telling me that you saw the version that Ron the Dad Panther Mitchell edited. That's what you said. Yes, and give or take how people are talking about it around the world. Number one movie, my ass. I'm sure a lot of people would have loved my version much better. Okay, all right. Well, I, I appreciate that input, sir. Iris, if you could, uh, don't forget to unmute yourself. Okay, I understand. I understand. How about JS1? Why don't we go ahead and move over to you, sir? Let's get your your review. How's and lows? How you felt about this movie, sir? First of all, I would like to say that I really appreciate Ron's perspective. You know that the the way he illuminated these points and then showed these parallels between real life and filmmaking, stunning. Stunning. And it is very embarrassing that I'm going to have to, at this point, disconnect with him completely uh, and disconnect from myself because I, I, I want I want to hate J-Lo. You know what I'm saying? I, I really do. I want I want to hate this film. I want to be like, I, I, I got my popcorn and my soda and my drinks and my you know, mad cigars. I had like a half a bottle of whiskey. I was ready to spend the night going F that fine chick. But... <laughs> <laughs> but, and I went into it and it was dumb. The first wasted 15, 20 minutes of her normal everyday life didn't need it. It was dumb. Um, all of these very over the top ways of you trying to establish her intelligence by do you want to continue playing chess? Boop, 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 boop. And then <laughs> all these little subtle accoutrements to prove that she's the one. I felt like a little over top and silly, but must remind myself this is multi. Uh, this is a purposefully multi generational film. So you gotta have stuff for the dummies. You gotta have stuff for the smarts. So I kind of have to let that ride. And it wasn't. It wasn't bad. Bad. It's just hey, I watch a lot of movies, so I gotta. And and I think like that's what us reviewers do sometimes. We don't always take into account that we watch a lot of movies. So we become, as we go further and further into our experiences, we start really becoming more and more and more critical. That's just me personally. I'm a, I'm a, just a critical person. So, so I relaxed myself and I said, she's going to screw this up way more down the road. Just sit back and let it happen. Um, I was right. Things started going bad. Um, not because the stuff was bad. It's just that, She's not the best actress. And I've said this before. She really only has two tones. She's got three tones. She's got the angry, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a F you up tone. She's got the uh, trying to be cute and sweet, kind of like witty, you know, talky, New york -y thing. And then she's got the, uh, she's got the crying thing. That's really the only three tones that she has. So, like, this film kind of requires her to have a little bit more range, but but she doesn't. So what she'll do is, is sometimes she'll inappropriately put one of those three personalities into a scene, and it makes it a little jarring, like, Ugh, why are you doing that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that, that, that don't necessarily fit with this particular... But I know it's J-Lo, 
and everything else looks spectacular. Like the screen is beautiful. The CGI is gorgeous. I, I mean, like, and I've got a nice television. So I'm like, yo, this stuff is jumping out at me conceptually some of the scientific -y stuff that they put together i was like yo that's really cool uh the conundrum that they put her in when you really think about it you're like that's actually kind of cool like i'm 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 bumping i'm bumping with that so then we go through the entire film and we get to the end and i'm emotionally satisfied hollywood is gonna do what hollywood's gonna do the ending had the the moments the conversations were, you know, cheese sandwiches and like, but I got my side. I think when I, at the end of the film, I, I was, I was, I, yo, the first thing I was like, yeah, this is not that bad, man. I got my sci-fi fix and I'm not going to lie to you. Like I recommended it to my dad. My dad's going to love this joint. Like I know a bunch of people that are not that are not <laughs> look, look now all of my little, my, all of my friends that are critical about films, Nah, y'all are going to come into this and it is not going to work. This is not great Poupon. This is just French mustard, but French mustard <laughs> goes on a lot of great things and can be a lot of great things to a lot of great people. So like if you play this in concert with some other stuff that, you know, what I mean, if you got family coming over or this is for the kids, I feel like the kids are going to watch this and they're going to be attached to it. You know what I mean? This could be if, if I was maybe 10 years old or 12, I might watch this and get attached and want to see sequels and other things happen out of this like uh, so i'm gonna say i enjoyed it and i recommend that people watch this that's that's all i got at this point i am stunned i i'm not gonna lie i i thought you was gonna drag this movie <laughs> I, I was, yo, bro, I want to so bad. I hate the fact that I have to be the outlier on this. You know, what I mean? it's gonna make money off of me, and I can't, I can't, I can barely live with myself. You know what I mean? Ooh. Yeah, I was, I was, I was waiting on that. I just thought, you, I, I really thought you was gonna drag, but that, all right, that's what's up. Yeah, hey, especially with living on a budget, right, Jay? Facts. <laughs> That was the best non money I spent. You know exactly. what I mean? <laughs> I, I respect the budget. I respect the budget. Come on, I Iris, give us your highs and lows. So, yeah, so I'm going to take us back to actual highs and lows <laughs> instead of a drawn out review. My bad. Um, <laughs> no. I feel like there was more of an emotional attachment to this movie, Jay. <laughs> Most definitely. I definitely yeah. agree. I felt it. I felt it in my soul. I really did. I was representing for the senoritas. Yeah. So <laughs> she said, uh. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so to take us back, highs, real quick. Um, I think like just the the theatrical effects, the CGI, the coloring, it was just everything was just so bright, so bright and very appealing to the eye. Um and I, I really could say like a lot of the effects I really did enjoy, like the explosions and and just all the crazy mess that was going on around her. Like, um, I, I really liked that. I think that was very well shot, very well put together. Um, in regards to the actual storyline itself, I actually don't think it was too, too bad. Um, you know, it, it was very straightforward you can kind of already guess what the problem is there wasn't really a big twist you know um you can already guess what her problem was um even even prior to her giving a whole speech toward the end of the movie <laughs> end of the movie um so and i would have to say for my lows i and i enjoy JLo, I would say, as a performer, when it comes to certain things like dancing and some of her music and things like that. But I have to agree with you, Jay, in regards to her acting. She doesn't really have that big of a range. You know, I feel like she tries to stay within the norm of what she knows she can do, um, which is OK, you know, which which is perfectly fine, because a lot of her past stuff I have really enjoyed <laughs> You know, so, you know, it, it's nothing against her. Um, but 
for this kind of role, I don't know why I saw more of like, like a, and this is just my opinion. Some I saw more of a Michelle Rodriguez type character. If we still wanted to keep the main character Latina, that that's the type of attitude I kind of saw. Someone with a fucked up past, stank attitude, but I, I don't know. I just see her in this kind of role. Not that J-Lo did that bad of a job, but, um, and I, I would have to say really that that was probably my biggest low. I just feel like she just didn't fit the character 100% for me. Um, and then of course, um, the pacing of the movie. I feel like some pieces could have been cut out because it was like not really that serious. I feel like it went from um, in the, it, it went from serious on some parts to, to, you know, very dramatic to then, you know, they're trying to throw like cute little sarcastic quirks of wittiness here and there, like with the whole planty thing. I was like, really? Okay. Was that, was that necessary? that really drastic to the movie do we give a fuck about the plant no because we probably want to bomb the whole place anyway but she's smart um <laughs> but she's smart but we're gonna call it planty right because you're so brilliant you analyst um so i i would have to say those are those are my biggest lows for the movie and uh and that, that's all i have to say about it i mean uh, I'm okay. satisfied and and that's that was it I got you. I got you. I got you. Well, I, I, I will throw in very briefly that um, I don't have too many highs other than the visuals. I thought the visuals were great. And then, of course, the, the story was straightforward. I'm glad they didn't try and make it some kind of extra layered plotty twist. I'm glad that it was exactly what it says it was. But for me, Lowe's would be... Um, I thought they spent too much time with just her in, in, the, in the mech, in the machine with the AI. Um, I, oh, excuse me. I understand that they needed to sink and they needed time. Um, mm -hmm. But I felt like they could have uh, definitely chopped out a lot of that, pushed the story forward a lot more. Uh, as far as her acting, I felt like it was within it was within her range. So I was good with that. My biggest issue was just uh, the, the overall story towards the end. It just kind of made it all not worth it to me, you know. And the, 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 the villain, the lead villain, you know, makes it seem like it was his plan all together to, to get her so he can get access to certain things. And I know I'm revealing a little bit, but in my opinion, with the, the way that, the way that things went on, when, when they reached the planet, there was no guarantee that she was going to survive that. So I thought I was like, and then you got your guys out there trying to actually kill her the whole time. Uh, it's funny how a bunch of people got, you know, bullet holes and they're, and they're all dead in their drones, but she's getting shot up and she's surviving it. You know, so I'm like, okay, they're forcing this thing. They're not thinking about the universe that they created. And then his whole plot could have easily went to crap because she's not a soldier. She's an analyst. So how did he expect after he brought on this full-on assault that, yeah, I just needed to lure you here so I can get what I needed? And I was like, okay, this whole movie just fell out the box for me. Because <laughs> I, I was in the I was in the same boat as this one. Like, you know what? I'm not going to be super critical about this. It is what it is, and it's holding. But as soon as I got towards that part, I was like, "All right, the, the bottom just fell out for me." And then the logic on the on the on the military the, that or the I don't know what if they're military, the coalition of nations. Uh, <laughs> uh, with that, when they lost communication and they they realized that they they might be in an imminent threat, I was really surprised at how they handled that. I really thought, you know, if Plan A didn't work. But we know where this guy is. We're just gonna blow that planet out of the uh, atmosphere, and no, they still, you know, came in to save the day. I'm spoiling this movie. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and rate this bad boy. I want to start with you, Iris. How you feeling? Is it a classic? Good watch. Catch on streaming. Not doing it for me. Mm, it's not doing it for me. <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh, oh. You want to wait for the rest of it, or I, yeah, it just, if it's just. If you not ever show me this again, me. I will. <laughs> she about to give it to him. She like, man, but yeah, it's just it's not doing it for me. It's not. It's not something I would watch again. It's not something that I would be like, oh, Atlas, eh, fuck it, let's watch it. Like, no, nah, I'm good. I I rather watch Sesame Street. 
Okay. Okay. All right. All right. JS1. Um, that's a really good question. Uh, but I'll run it back again. Classic good watch, catch on stream and not doing it for me. Oops, sorry. Oh hell no. Oh, if you ever show me this again, I will. All right. So, um, yes, I'm going to give this a catch on streaming. Uh, I did enjoy this film. I know I've just trashed it for X amount of time and then flipped around and gave it good praise. Um no, I, I I genuinely enjoyed it, and I'm so I was so shocked that I would have to come in here and say something. But I'm going to catch it on streaming. And um, I didn't know she had a production deal with Netflix, but I heard about that film Mother, I think. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I heard it was really bad, so I'm thinking I might go and catch that go, one go too. Check it, go check it out. It was- it was basically on the same level as this, in my opinion. It was the same way you felt it then, like, you know what? It's, it's good enough. It's good enough. That's how I felt about it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to save that for the last. Uh, so <laughs> I, I'm going to give my rating now. Um, for me, I'm going I'm to have to go with not not doing it for me. It was not It was not the worst thing I've ever seen. It just it just, it just just didn't do it for me. That's, you know, like I said, the villain's whole plan and everything is the bottom kind of fell out for me uh, and all that stuff. All right, Dad Panther. Uh, Jay not doing it for go, me. Go, oh, he didn't want to give the... No, the I'm not going to waste your... I'm not going to waste your time. I'm not going to waste the viewer's time. Don't watch it. There you go. Don't watch it. So, so it sounds like if they ever show you to you again, you're going to slap somebody. But, no, 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 no. This It's all love here. The little bit love. I saw was great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Opening credits and ending credits. Boom. Best movie ever. <laughs> wow.